Hey folks, this is Jeff again with SimSamurai.net on uh, the second part of configuring the GoFlight controllers for your flight simulator. Uh, basically, you're looking at the GoFlight configurator utility with the GoFlight uh, 166 Alpha or GF or Gulf Fox 166 Alpha uh, unit, uh, which is their radio tuner unit, which can be used for either comm radios or nav radios or both and this is a really really nice piece of hardware because of that because of the fact that this one little unit can actually you be used for several functions be it your comm radios or your nav radios or both as well as transponder um, I have two of these and so I like to assign one whole unit like this both to my COM1 and COM2 radios and then my secondary unit is assigned to NAV1 and NAV2. And additionally, you can actually assign one of these little buttons down here to your transponder or ADF, which is what I do. So basically for my COM1 unit, I will assign it to COM1 and COM2 with a transponder function. And then for my second unit, I will assign it to NAV1, NAV2 with an ADF function. And so what I'm going to do here um, at the top um, I'm in the Flight Sim 2004 mode, and I'll have to repeat this whole process to assign it for Flight Sim X as well. But while I'm in the Flight Sim 2004 mode, this says Main Avionics Function. And so I'm going to open this little window. I'm going to go down and just select COM1 um, because that's what I want for now. And then Left Function, I'm going to go down and select. I want it to go COM1 COM2 toggle and so this will select it between COM2 and or excuse me COM1 and COM2 and what it means by main avionics is when it fires up what are you looking at you get uh, COM1 radio this means that this will be your active radio or active window and then this will be your standby window and that this little button right here is your flip flop or standby window that you will tune your frequency uh, in here and then when you press this button it will switch from your standby to active so COM1 and then COM1 COM2 toggle here and then right function I'm going to go down here and select transponder select not transponder VFR or anything like that let's just hit transponder select so this means if we hit that button it will actually bring up our transponder numbers in this window and will allow you to tune your transponder using the same uh, dial that you use for your radios. Very nice, very handy. Um, I highly recommend this piece of equipment. It's about 150, 160 bucks, which may seem a little expensive, but considering that it's a very well made piece of hardware for your flight simulator that is actually uh, very realistic in size to any general aviation or commercial aircraft. Uh, you're going to be very happy with it. I've had this unit for several years now, and I just I can't tell you how much I appreciate the fact that, that this is out on the market. Uh, it's very realistic um, and is actually even more functional than real radios are in an aircraft. So again, I just have to do the same thing uh, for Flight Sim X. Um, no selection there. I'm going to go COM1 for its main avionics function. I'm going to go down here, I'm going to go COM1, or excuse me, um, COM1 NAV2, or excuse me, COM1 COM2, uh, there it is, COM1 COM2 toggle, bada bing, and then transponder select over here. Uh, there's only about 20 or 30 functions, so it's hard to screw it up as far as what you want to get. So transponder select. So there we go. I've got it set for both Flight Sim X and Flight Sim 2004. You just want to toggle back and forth, make sure they both read the same, and then you're done. And same thing, I'm going to plug in my second unit now. Um, again, I've been doing this in series. Um, I plugged in my audio selector panel first, and this is my first radio, and then I'm going to plug in the second one. And same thing, uh, for the nav selection, you would just you know, do this uh, same process, except you would select nav1 here, and then you would select nav1, nav2 toggle, and then ADF select over here if you're using two of these units. 
Uh, so combined, they make a really strong powerhouse of virtual avionics for flight simulation. I can't recommend them enough. I'm very happy with GoFlight products. Again, I've used them for years. They've got great support, great configurator utility that's easy to use. And uh, hopefully you will try it out and think the same thing. So thanks for watching and tune in again for my next videos on setting up your flight sim controllers. Have a good day. Bye.